This die cast has so much dirt and grime, confetti, detailed interior, all that good jazz in one 164 scale machine. Here is Connor Larson's NDCS, or their last cup series, season two throwback race winning Chevrolet Camaro. Hello, Danny folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. And no, it's not a Race Day 2011 Spark model review. No, we got a custom race version NASCAR Dorados Cup Series Richmond throwback race winning Chevrolet Camaro. Now this is from season two of the NASCAR Dorados Cup Series. And this was a project that took me a year to freaking make, okay? So I'll be honest with you, I got real lazy with this one, but I finally got this car done. It is detailed, it has weathering effects. It has tire degradation. I mean, this thing is absolutely uh, detailed to the brim. It also has a detailed case right here, which the top does come off of it. So we'll do a full uh, die cast review here. Uh, so this is the case for, you know, Kyle Larson got his second Dorados Cup Series win at Richmond, the throwback events. And uh, for anyone out there who's, you know, interested in the NASCAR Dorados Cup Series, it's unscripted die cast racing, right? These cars, push them around the track, anywhere they land, the cars crash, whatever. This die cast was the winner. And, of course, you have the race sponsor right there, Doralas Batteries 400. This race uh, was a throwback event, so all the throwback cars were out. You got Kyle Larson right here. You also got NASCAR Doralas Cup Series. Now, the decals were printed out, water slide decals, applied them. I put clear coat on. Go over to the other side of the case here. You got Richmond Raceway, uh, Doralas Batteries 400. Winner, Richmond Raceway, October 26, 2019. That was the first ever Doralas Cup Series race at Richmond and it was a it was a fun race to film. I tell you what and this was his second NASCAR Dural last cup series win So we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, the case off here and uh, we'll get a closer look Alrighty folks, so detail to me when it comes to these die cast builds is absolutely my favorite thing Everything has to be de detailed from the windows to the front of the car You know having dirt all across the nose to the tire rubs to the fenders being flared out even to the window net. Heck, I even added seat belts into this 164 scale die cast. Plenty of detail all around. So, this was a very, um, I would say, celebration weathered car. It wasn't as bad condition, uh, you know, prior to winning the race. But, uh, of course, on the left side here, you can see how the Goodyears are actually uh, blacked out here. The reason why for that is because. This side kind of got scraped up, so the Goodyear's kind of got ran off. Obviously, you have the driver's side window net, but you can see like a light confetti job to it. That is done because I didn't want to coat the car in confetti. I wanted to do a realistic light confetti job to it. Obviously, you could see the left rear quarter panel is torn up due to the burnout. Now, the tires are not super detailed. I didn't really destroy these too much. Kind of wanted to go with a light uh, kind of, uh, you know, damage to it. So let's go ahead and truly start off here with the nose of this die cast. You got DC Solar right there. Very, very nice. Uh, the de decal is a little bit off center, but you can see a lot of dirt, right? A lot of dirt present around the front nose of the car. And the confetti was red and white. Obviously, you know, the throwback event colors were red and white. And you can see right here with the nose of this car, a little bit of some confetti that almost looks like grill tape right there. Uh, but I really like this. Really do. And uh, you got your throwback decals here. You got Moog Mail. Uh, was that Comp, I think, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. Got a silver 42 right there on the front. You got a Chip Ganassi Racing logo, Camaro Z01. You go over here back to the left side of it, and let's take a closer look at some of these contingencies here. But you can see inside the car as well, guys. Check this out. You see that right next to the Donington uh, logo? Yeah, these are Donington throwbacks that they're used for Richmond. Right there underneath my index finger that's moving, there's a small little window net that was glued on in there. So that's the permanent window net, and this one's the detachable one. You, you know, that's a very small uh, piece of detail. Uh, of course, the whole roll cage inside is painted silver because the black base of the car, I wanted to put a color that pops. So you got Goodyear, uh, Lincoln Welders, Mechanics Wear, 3M, another logo there. Uh, you got Sherwin Williams, Lincoln Welders, Safety Clean, I think. Got the Credit One decal that's uh, torn off. I think that's Cessna, Coca-Cola. Credit One Bank again, uh, and I think that's McDonald's. Kyle Larson on the driver's side window net, American Ethanol. So let's go over here and scoot to the back end of this die cast. Now, this had some trouble gluing this back to the base. Um, so basically, you know, you have to screw these onto the card, right? You screw the, the base onto it. Well, anyways, what happened was is the chassis itself 
was screwed to the base, but the car would not stay to the chassis. So I had to glue the car to the chassis as the chassis was already screwed onto the base because, you know, they're two pieces. So essentially I had to put a crap load of glue. I tried to trim as much as I could off, but unfortunately uh, I had to put an abundance to keep the car on the base. So you got DC Solar right there, you got Camaro. Uh, DC Solar again, 42. You could see a lot of chips and scrapes on the back bumper. Probably was doing some blocking there at Richmond. Uh, there's a big chip right here unfortunately on the right tail light so if you're going over to the right side of this die cast and it's far more clean over here uh so there's a little bit of some uh some weathering around the right rear from you know the burnout you know getting some good old rubber slinging around but you can see how the throwback wheels are present the goodyear logos they're not rubbed off uh so perhaps maybe larson uh was trying to you know maybe hold off one of the leaders or something got past and, uh, you know, used up the left side of his car, you know? You know, Daryl Waltrip always said one thing. If your right side is tore up, you're racing. If your left side's tore up, you're just in the way. So perhaps he was just in the way for a little bit. But you can see just a very light confetti job with this die cast. And that's what I was going for. I wanted a solid race win die cast. I didn't want to cake it. I wanted to just put a little bit of confetti to give it that race win appeal. But I didn't want to, like, just completely obliterate it. Now, you can see a lot of dust and dirt around uh, right here where that blue stripe goes underneath the contingencies. You can see a lot of dust and dirt there. That is something I really like. So, go back over here to the front of it. Maybe you can see a little bit better, but underneath, uh, of course, those two confetti pieces, you can see two uh, red stripes. Those are indeed the, um, the seat belts. You can see them, see them applied right there. Now, obviously, I would show them to you, but the car is glued back together. Now, over here on the dashboard, you can see how it is painted there with the red and the chrome. So, you do have some dashboard details. The steering wheel is painted as well. Going over here to the roof of this die cast, and hopefully this thing stays on the base. Let's get a good, clean shot of that. So, you got the uh, number 42 there. So, you got some confetti kind of built up on the roof there. Obviously, I love the silver. And, you know, truth be told, guys, if you haven't got the clean version of this die cast... And you want a good die cast you can put in your die cast series truth be told this was an extremely overproduced car even though this thing was beautiful because this car got produced yes it's a 2018 donington throwback but it was produced in 2019 so this was way after the hype and way after the race was ran plus the dc solar nonsense this die cast is very easy to get by nowadays so the silver 42 there very light confetti job you can see it across the whole car just a little bit of red to add to it, but I really wanted the paint scheme and the throwback vibes to kind of uh, sell it, so to speak. So you got DC Solar on the roof flaps, and you can see a little bit of a buildup where the back spoiler is, as the, you know, of course, you know, the liquid, the champagne, whatever, kind of cakes to the spoiler, and the confetti builds up there. And you got Florida Hospital right there. I gotta say, folks, this was an incredible uh, die cast to build. Now, I went through so many trials and tribulations pretty much to get this thing built but i really am proud of it and i got some more race winning customs coming up uh you can check these out so here's a unfinished one kurt bush daytona 500 season three uh for the nascar drone Ice cup series that will be coming up very soon alex bowman season two championship car uh, you can't really see it in the camera shot but uh that's a detailed alex bowman car right there ladies and gentlemen Moving forward, we have another one, too. So, if you're a fan of the NASCAR Doras Cup Series and you like race-winning cars, plenty to check out. There's a Kyle Busch Homestead Season 2 car. So, uh, these are some of the final Season 2 cars that made production. We did cancel a few of them for Season 3. Uh, the Boyer Texas one is still being evaluated. We might end up making that win. Uh, the Johnson Daytona win thus far, that one is being evaluated. I don't know about the All-Star Ryan Newman. Um, we have canceled the Martin Truex Jr. Um, Las Vegas win and the Denny Hamlin Auto Club win. But we might make the Johnson Daytona one. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But for the, those who don't know about the NASCAR Dress Cup Series, we're going to put the case back on here so we don't uh, get any more dust on it than it needs to be. But for those who don't know about the NDCS, the NDCS is basically the most original diecast series on YouTube, right? It is unlike anything out there. Uh, the diecasts actually dictate the winner. It's unscripted diecast racing. You know, you know those Hot Wheels tracks where people push the cars downhill. Think of that, but instead of it going downhill, it's oval 
high speed action. Cars flipping, cars crashing with 40 car fields, okay? It's unlike anything on YouTube. And uh, the NASCAR Dice Cup Series has, it's, it is the reason why Diecast Buffet even started, right? And we're already in season three. If y'all want me to do a season four of it, you gotta let me know down in the comments. It is incredible. I love doing it. And uh, we're gonna be having another NASCAR Dice Cup Series race very, very soon. You can tune in for the Lone Star 500. That's gonna be coming up New Year's Eve. You can tune in 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the channel. And uh, I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, I freaking love doing these race to win cars. Who's gonna win? The Lone Star 500, it's the patriotic uh, race of the season. So you're going to see cars like Kevin Harvick's uh, Bush Light Patriotic. You're going to see, you know, the Chase Elliott Mountain Dew Liberty Brew custom car we built. So many patriotic cars. You're going to see at that Texas race, it's unscripted diecast racing, you know. They're not scripted, right? Anyone can win those. And the diecasts are fast. Some of them are fast, some of them are slow. I change the paint schemes every race, so it's always something unpredictable. It's it is just so much fun, guys. Make sure to check it out. I have a link down below to every NDCS broadcast. New Year's Eve, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday night, Texas Motor Speedway, Lone Star 500. Make sure to tune in, guys. It is going to be a banging diecast race. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And tell me what y'all think about this 2000 and, well, 2019 NDCS Kyle Larson Richmond raced version um, throwback diecast. I think this is a really cool car. It was supposed to be out probably a year ago almost, but, you know, life happens. You put things on the shelf. You kind of just do other things. Uh, but I'm very glad to get this car produced and finished. I didn't cancel it. It took a long time, but I'm really glad we got this thing made, guys. I really do. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more NDCS race wins, uh, tell me down below in the comment section. And also, playlist down below with more NDCS race wins. You can check those out in the Diecast Buffet's custom Diecast review playlist. Also, the bottom of this car is painted as well, the, the exhaust and all that, but obviously it's screwed down to a base, so I can't really uh, display that, but yet it is painted. And I'll tell you what, I'll show you for kind of a quick reference what that might look like. Uh, this is the Alex Bowman uh, Homestead Championship car from the Duras Cup Series. You can see how it's painted with the red gas tank and all that good jazz. It's something like that, so that's kind of an idea of what it looks like. Anyways, folks, Diecast Buffet, signing off.